Hi everyone, this is Mr. John from the Children's Services and Family Engagement Department of Chicago Public Library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool project that combines art and science for a really cool effect. We'll be making these little devices called Thomatropes. And basically these create an optical illusion that you can uh, get really creative with. It's a really nice combination between art and science. I'll show you two ways to make a thoma thomatrope. Um, this is what they look like, but I'm going to hold off on showing you exactly how it works until later in the video. So let me go over what you will need for this project. First, you'll need some paper, and then you'll need some drawing supplies. I have some markers and colored pencils that I use today. Um, you also need some cardboard. This is just some cardboard I saved from a cereal box, and this works perfectly well. You also can use, uh, you also need some tape and or glue. I have both today. Um, you're also going to want a pair of scissors and some string. And then um, you'll also need something long and round. Uh, for example, I have this uh, barbecue skewer. You could also use a straw or um, in this thomatrope, I actually just use an additional pencil. And then you're also gonna want to have a ruler and then a compass or something else that can help you draw circles. Here, I just have another roll of tape and this helped me draw some circles. Uh, once you have all your materials together, we're ready to go. We're ready to get started. So um, I'm going to first show you how to make the square thaumatrope. Basically, what you need to do is uh, use your ruler to measure out a square. Um, mine is three inches long. So I basically made uh, two three-inch squares from the paper. I have some pre-made here. Here are two three-inch squares out of paper. And then you also need one three inch square out of the cardboard. Once you have all those cut out, you're actually ready to do some drawing. So the thaumatrope creates an optical illusion that essentially combines two different images into one. So you're gonna to wanna to think of an image that will work well, um, or I'm sorry, you're gonna to wanna to think about two images that would work well combined or you could think of a single image and think of a way to separate that image into two different images. So I'm actually gonna do something really simple and quick here. I'm gonna just do like kind of a simple doodle like this with my markers. Just gonna do something like this. And you can kind of see, I'm kind of sticking within a little um, rectangular shape here. And then on my second square, I'm basically going to make a little frame. So when these get combined, it's going to look like a piece of artwork in a picture frame. It's like a very modern piece of artwork. So it's basically a picture frame. I'll put like a little detail on the corners just to make the picture frame a little bit more fancy. There you go, there's my picture frame. And then once you're done with your drawings, it's time to assemble your thaumatrope. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is take your cardboard and then draw, I'm sorry, tape one of your drawings to one side of the cardboard. I'm just going to tape it here to the top and then to the bottom, use a little tape like that. And then I'm going to flip it over just from left to right. And then I'm going to take my barbecue skewer place it right here in the middle of the cardboard and tape that down. Just kind of like this. My skewer was a little long, so I basically just cut it down to size a little bit with my, my hands. I'm gonna tape this down like this. You want this to be really secure, so I'm gonna put two pieces of tape on this. And then, we're gonna take our second image, oops, it was like this. 
and then tape that to the side as well. This one I think I'll actually tape on the sides. And basically, well actually I'm gonna put one more piece of tape on top of it. After this is done, you're ready to test out your thomatrope. And basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is put the stick between your fingers and spin it around really quickly. And you'll see there, as I'm spinning it, the two separate images essentially are combining into one. And so I took scribbles and a little picture frame, and I'm combining them together to create a piece of modern art. Oh, see, you can see it combining. That's pretty cool. And really what's happening here is something called persistence of vision. Persistence of vision allows us to blend together two things that we see with our eyes. With the thermothropes, it's basically allowing your brain to process two separate images and combine them into a single image. Persistence of vision also allows us to perceive movement in animation, because in animation, you're basically looking at separate drawings, but it looks like the drawings are moving together thanks to persistence of vision. So this is the thermotrope I showed you earlier. Here I actually drew a little self-portrait, that's me. But I have no hair, so I wanted to draw a crazy hairstyle. So I'm gonna combine these two. And once I start spinning this around, whoops. And you can um, play around with the speed at which you um, spin this around. Whoops, ooh, that's pretty good. You'll see, I have like a crazy hairstyle now. Whoa. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is one kind of thoma thomatrope, but I will show you how to make a second one that functions very similarly, but it's just a little bit different. For this one, you're actually gonna wanna cut circles from your paper. And basically I use this to uh, trace out some circles. And this one, this circle just happened to be three inches wide. Um, so you need two circles out of paper and then one circle out of cardboard. And then you're gonna basically do the same thing. You're gonna do your drawings. I'm gonna do something really simple here. I'm gonna do just like a yellow circle here. And then on my second one, I'm going to draw a smiley face. So I'm just going to try to make the classic yellow smiley face with my thaumatrope. So this one's a little different um, to assemble. For this one, you'll actually need to cut a piece of string. This one is 16 inches long. Then you're going to take your string, kind of eyeball the center of your string, place that in the middle of your piece of cardboard, and then you're going to tape that down right in the middle of the cardboard, just like this. And I really want the edges to be taped down, so I'm going to just put a little more tape on the edges. There you go. And actually I'm gonna use glue this time. So I'm going to glue down one drawing. It's in the front. And then this is one big difference with this kind of thaumatrope. You actually need to um, flip your thaumatrope over this way and then glue down your second image. So actually, um, when you do this, it doesn't really matter as much for the design I made, but if you made a different kind of image, you need to make sure that um, one side is actually upside down. And you'll kind of see why once I show you how to do this. So we're basically done now. Now what you want to do is take the string in your fingers and really just twirl it. Oh, see, oh, this one works really well. So you actually, actually can see that classic yellow smiley face there really well. And I'm just twirling the string between my fingers to get that effect. I'm really happy with how that one came out. I'll actually show you these other ones I made. 
So here on one side, there's a bird. And here, this demonstrates how um, the opposite image has to be uh, backwards or upside down rather pretty well. So see, when I flip it left to right, this image is actually backwards. But when I hold it this way between my fingers and I flip it up, up and down, this image turns out right side up. And now when I spin it, it looks like the birdie is sitting on a tree branch. Oh, pretty cool. And really, I think you can get super creative with this project. You can come up with a lot of different images to combine. Here's one I did. I'm pretty happy with too. Whoops, upside down. So on one side, it has a hand and it says hi. On the opposite side, part of a hand and it says five. And when we put them together, high five. Thanks so much for joining us today for today's video. Please remember that Steam Week at Chicago Public Library is May 8th through May 14th, and you can join us for special programs and guests. Check out our website for more information at shypublib.org slash steamweek. And one last high five for all of you before we go. Bye, everyone.